Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel, another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together its operation. Give Jesus your 100%. 2022 is no retreat, no surrender. We are fighting forward, beloved. Asijiki Arhumeli Murahu. Christ ahead of us, the world behind us. He's teaching us how to live as his disciples. Holiness that pleases him. His standard, not our standard. That may his name be glorified. We serve a king, beloved, the great I am, powerful God, the one and only risen king. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. The honors lies on us, beloved, as individuals. Are we going to hear Ken and heed his warnings and embrace his love as he's preparing us for his coming, ushering us to his kingdom? Glory to his precious name. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. This video is for sisters and it's concerning our dressing, beloved. Our Father is warning us. Before I go into it, I want to read the word of God from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I will read verse 10. The word of God says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pay attention to that scripture, beloved, that we will give account of what we have done with our bodies. Paul told us that whatever we do, we must do it to the glory of God. Again, the word of God says in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22, it says, abstain from all appearance, all appearance of evil. Hallelujah. Again, Paul said in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. When we come to the newness of life, beloved, we have to let go of old habits. We have to abstain from all appearance of evil. We have to remember, beloved, that our bodies become a temple of the Lord. Therefore, we cannot dress anyhow. Again, in Romans chapter 6, verse 4, Paul said, Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. He said to the church in Corinth that old things have passed away. So we ought to change, beloved, our appearance as well. Praise the name of the Lord. Because again, we must remember that 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So we cannot dress anyhow. Beloved, our father revealed in a short vision a woman who was dressed in, you know, these dresses of today or the material or fabrics of, of today. Most of them, they have a last time. Most of them, beloved, they stretch, they have spandex so that they can hug our bodies very well. Most ladies will agree with me, beloved, that those days when we used to go to the retail shops to buy our dresses or skirts or being pants, whatever, it was hard to get, you know, a, a dress or top or, or whatever that has no spandex. You will find that if be it polyester or cotton or whatever, there is some elastine that material it stretches. And it is the strategy of the enemy, beloved. Because such clothes, when you wear them, you know, just go to a retail shop and look around. You will see most material they stretch. So when you wear them, they hug your body very well. And as women, beloved, it reveals our body structures. 
And that is exactly what the enemy wants, beloved, so that we will cause our brothers to fall. Let me share with you, beloved, a vision that our father showed me regarding this kind of dressing. Dresses, beloved, that has pandex. That's why he wants us to wear linen. It does not hug your body. It does not stretch in any way, beloved. This synthetic material, they are adding some stuff. That's why he wants us to wear 100% linen. This woman, she was wearing a dress. That dress was not long. And that dress was a synthetic material that has spandex or elastic because it hugged her body. I only saw her from behind. And her bums were showing, beloved. I saw a man. This man was glued, looking. His eyes were fixated. Looking on the bums straight. He was not looking anywhere, just there. So imagine what was going on in this man's mind, beloved. And Jesus told us that adultery is not only a physical act. You can commit it with your mind. So what was going on in that man's mind, beloved? He was busy committing a sin with this woman. So this is the reality of what is happening today, beloved. And it's not only women, unfortunately. Even men, they are wearing clothes that are hugging their bodies. And even as believers, beloved, we used to dress like that. Because we were under the deception of you know, God is only looking at the heart. Now that our eyes are open, beloved, we can clearly see that you are causing brothers to fall. So you are actually condemning a soul to hell due to your dressing. That's why our father wants us to cover our body, beloved. There are many women who are moving around with cleavages. Their breasts are out. And what is the intention of you leaving your breast out if it's not for the opposite sex to look at you? The devil has deceived us, beloved, in so many ways. Our father is calling us to repentance, beloved. We have to wear clothes that are loose to our bodies so that we do not send other souls to hell. Because you who is sending that soul, including yourself, you will be judged. Because I read for you in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 that we will all appear in the judgment seat, beloved, of what we have done with our bodies. Women, let us dress decently. Our father is teaching us. You know, it is so amazing that just the dressing alone, the way that I dress, it evangelizes a lot. And many people... When they ask me and I tell them, they say it is beautiful. They wish many women can dress like this. Praise the name of the Lord. So, beloved, that is what our father is warning. Those sisters, beloved, who are still holding on to synthetic material with uh, blended uh, material as well. Because most of those clothes is blended material, which the word of God forbids us to wear them, beloved, according to Leviticus 19.19. 19. So let us repent, beloved. Let us not cause our brothers to fall into sin. Or let us not send souls to hell. Because we will give account. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.